Thank you to Care Of for collaborating with me on this video. They need a lot of family therapy. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. How the heck are you? Today we're reacting to Encanto live at the Hollywood Bowl. Since Encanto is one of my best videos ever, and honestly, one of my favorites I've ever filmed because it was so fun, I feel like this is just so appropriate. We need to check this out. Before we jump in, I'm gonna pass the mic to Hannah on a different day to talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Care Of. Care Of is a subscription service that sends you high quality vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every month. Not sure what vitamins you need? Care Of Simple Quiz will help you build your personalized routine based off of your diet, lifestyle, and health goals. I love that Care Of takes all the guesswork out of my wellness routine. These vitamins are exactly what I need and easy to take every day. I've been using Care Of for about a month and not only do these vitamins make me feel great, but they are easy to stay consistent with because they look super cute on my counter right next to my coffee machine. So I see them every morning. I trust Care Of for my daily vitamin needs because they're made of high quality, clean ingredients backed by science. So I feel good about what I'm putting into my body. And my packs are made just for me. No one size fits all here. The quiz is easy delivery is quick, and Care Of can evolve with me. I can retake the quiz as my health goals and lifestyle change. Oh, and by the way, Care Of's daily packs are made of a plant-based film, which makes them compostable. Take Care Of's quiz to see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click the link below and enter code Hannah Bales for 50% off your first order with Care Of. Buenas noches and welcome to the Hollywood Bowl. Hey, Lynn. You look great. I love Lynn, and not just because he is the profile picture on Daddy Hannah, but that does help. <laughs> I wanted the show to be really special tonight, so we built a casita. <gasps> Shut up, that is so cool. Oh my God, I already have chills. The magic of theater. <laughs> I'm so excited. Door. Look at her. She sounds so good. She's wearing sneakers. That's so cool. That sounded really sarcastic, but no, I'm genuinely, I think they're very cool. It was so cool to wear sneakers when I was in high school, like with your homecoming dress. Like that was so edgy and so cool. Also, she sounds exactly like the studio version. Live. Incredible. My older sisters, Isabella and Luisa. One strong, one great, peaceful. Ah! My God, look at Luisa! She's wearing a purple sequin suit. Oh my God, she looks so cool. Oh my God, okay, so she reminds me of absolutely the origin of my obsession with like pixie cuts and power suits. Is that also my obsession with mask lesbians? Uh, <clears throat> We don't need to get into that right now. When I was a kid, I watched the Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, the VHS with Donny Osmond, and the narrator in that has a pixie cut and a power suit. And I was absolutely obsessed with her. I thought she was the coolest. And this is also the origin of why that is my dream role is to play the narrator in that show. And I'm having flashbacks because Luis is wearing a sequin suit. See, that would have made it even better. I would have lost my little girl mind if the narrator also had like sequins somewhere on her. Oh my God. My cousins will notice getting here, there's a horse a mile away. But if there's so many other way, you can marry my sister and you want to be sweet. You and me, I'm not a dream, I'm not a too much to make you, but I really gotta go. I have to comment on this because I'm a voice teacher. You can hear as she gets through the song, she starts to go a little bit hoarse. And Stephanie is already singing with a pretty thick vocal fold sound. So our vocal folds, our vocal cords come together like this, right? And when we sing higher, they're a little bit thinner. When we sing lower, they're thicker. If we take too much thickness up with us, we can start to get shouty and uncomfortable. So she's already singing with a pretty thick sound and she's carrying this whole song. She's singing quite loud and volume equals weight. So as she's getting louder, she's getting even thicker. And at the very end, you can hear her voice start to crack. I don't think that it was fully intentional. It fits, but I don't think that it was 100% intentional, which tells me that there's just a little bit too much heaviness in her voice for her to have like real sustainability. That being said, sounds great. And I love her. Mirabelle didn't get a gift. So rude, casita. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I understand. 
send you? Oh my god. Of course they can come. Those costumes are so cool. Oh my god, I love the way they did this. I really love the softer approach she's taking to this. And I genuinely mean softer. The thing about sound design and everything when it comes to shows is what sometimes gets neglected is we think that performers should just be able to sing at this very high volume throughout the whole show and then the mic makes up the difference when really everyone needs to be mic'd very differently based on the sustainability in their voice. So we know that Stephanie can sing so much louder because she's already given it to us and she could probably sing even louder in this song and still keep the spirit of the song alive, but she's bringing it down and it is so much easier on her voice. And it also sounds great. Like it fits the song really well. We can't just sing like at the top of our lungs all the time, especially not when we're belting, which is, you know, don't get me on belting. I'll talk about it forever. But she's doing a wonderful job here. It's very smooth, very beautiful. I love it. Oh, gorgeous. a little squeezy as she goes up. But it just fits Mirabelle so well, this like thicker sound that she's giving. Okay. We're doing a little bit of vocal analysis here. I want to make it very clear that I love Stephanie. She has a fantastic voice. We are not criticizing. We're listening with a very curious mindset. My favorite phrase, curious, not furious. So listen to her as she goes up. She has a tiny crack. She realizes that she doesn't have enough strength to make it to the top and get the sound that she wants. So she starts to squeeze here. That works for her. It gets her up there. Is it the best way? Is it the easiest way long-term? No but it works and you can hear her do that here listen for her crack as she goes up here can't side eyes now she's squeezing do you hear it like it worked that's the thing. I'm not saying that that is a bad sound because it worked for her. That is a coping skill that she has learned to get the strength that she wants through her first passage. That's where our head voice and our chest voice come together. It's really hard to navigate that area with the amount of strength that we want, especially in musical theater. We kind of live around there. That's the like sweet spot where you get that like beautiful resonance and belt and everything. So she's getting there successfully. Is it sustainable is another question. What I think about when I'm listening to a student is what are their concerns and how can I make their lives easier? Because I can guarantee that this doesn't feel great. I'm going to guess that at the end of the show, Stephanie probably had a very tired, possibly hoarse voice. She's navigating through it. I think there's an easier way and I would love, you know, with a student like this, I love to help them find the easier way, but it is a still a really great sound. Like it's powerful. It's resonant. She's doing a good job. I love that. She did that really well. It was a little iffy. I didn't know if she was going to crack again, but she navigated through that pretty well. Yes, baby. Sing. I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. I'm as tough as the trust of the earth is. Diamonds and platinum, I find on my platinum. Take what I'm handed, I break what's demanded. But under the surface. Okay, we're gonna pause. So one thing I want to mention about Louisa is you can tell I'm not nervous. She's way down in the bottom of her voice and it is lower than is a comfortable sweet spot for this actress. And you can tell by how quiet she is down there and also her chin's coming down a little bit, which imposes her larynx. So her larynx is coming down. I'm not nervous. Like.
like if I was gonna sing that whole song down here, even if I hit every single note, you'd probably be able to tell just a little bit that this is not exactly where I feel comfortable. Also, because you just know by my speaking voice, I have the Disney princess speaking voice. So uh, you, yeah, she's getting there successfully. I just wanted to point out that you can kind of hear this swallowed, slightly, slightly swallowed sound, which is showing that it's just a little bit low for her. Yes, that sounds so good in her voice. Oh God. Yeah, they've definitely still got the like TikTok dance vibe for the dancers. I kind of like it. <laughs> Shut up, the donkeys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they are really, oh. Yeah, they are serving in this performance. Don't talk about Bruno. He will see someone. Oh, please. I'm so excited for this. We don't talk about Bruno. Look at her in her yellow dress. She looks like a princess. You're telling this story on a mind. I'm sorry, maybe that go That was like a Gomez Adams move. We live in fear, Bruno stuttering and stumbling. I can always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling. I associate him with the sound of fall in the sand. She's so good. Also, she looks so good in that color. Oh, they gave the ensemble as many costume changes as they possibly could. Oh my God. She's descending from the ceiling. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at Muriel's face. I need that to just send as a reaction picture to people. It's the biggest side eye I've ever seen in my life. I mentioned this in my first Encanto video because that was just like my genuine reaction to it because I had never watched it. That part baffles me every time. Why is the big moment in this song, time for dinner? <laughs> It couldn't be anything else. Like here we are, we're singing about how there's an entire human person missing from this family that we just don't talk about. We pretend he didn't even exist. And then the big moment in the middle, the musical climax is time for dinner. I don't get that. Mirabelle. She's she's like, I definitely will not be snubbing my family anytime soon. They will pretend that you don't exist and then sing a musical number about you. Oh, I liked that. I like the way that ended. Oh, I can't wait to see how they do this. I just made something oh, unexpected. Ensemble has a new costume. <laughs> yeah, Isabella sounds exactly like the studio version. She sounds so good. I also really, really loved her low notes. Her chest voice sounds so like rich and resonant. So much Right there. That's so good. I really love how they're using the like silks behind them. Ooh. That was such a good belt. I am so impressed with the choreography and the ensemble just as a whole, amazing. But I just love this mix of like, you know, they're taking like the entire song, but they're also making it very like an artistic interpretation with the dancing, like everyone dressed up as animals. Oh, I love it. This is really, really cool. I am having a great time. Oh, stop. Are they going to show this part with the dancers? I'm already crying. No, stop. Stop it. No. <laughs> I am crying. Uh, that part always kills me. Those kids are doing the most. They are so good. More than just your gift. And I'm sorry I held on too tight. Abuela. I'm just so afraid I 
I'm not doing well over here, guys. See, that's that's another question. She heard him every day. She never said anything. My God, they need a lot of family therapy. What do you see? I see me. All of me. <laughs> that's the part that got me last time too. <laughs> I like his pink suit. God, this is such a party. Oh my god. The ensemble really stole the show. I'm sorry. The ensemble and the set design, I think. Disney, because the Disney Corporation is watching. Invite me to one of these sometime. That's my new goal. I need to get famous enough that I get invited to show like this. Put me in the nosebleed section. I don't even care. I just want to be there. I love a good reprise. Flashback. Do I need three reprises? <gasps> Fireworks! That's so fun. Guys, I love theater. <laughs> I love that they did this. Ah, okay. Absolutely, my favorite part was the set design. Actually, I probably put that as number one. Like the way that they projected Casita onto the set and like the artistic direction with kind of playing just little parts of the movie throughout, but it wasn't too much. It was like the perfect blend of like telling the story and also focusing on like the songs. I mean, I loved that the original cast did this and the ensemble, my God. I don't know if anybody in the ensemble watches my videos, but if you do, comment down below so that I can gush about you. This was so cool. They really gave the ensemble 17 costume changes. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. Thank you to Care Of for sponsoring this video. Click the link below and enter code Hannah Bales for 50% off your first order with Care Of. Thanks for watching. If you guys wanna check out my merch, I'm having a huge sale right now. We're trying to move these sweatshirts out of the warehouse so that we can uh, create this brand new merch that I'm dreaming up. Stay tuned for more news on that. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Hannah Bales if you want like longer versions of my videos. If you just like can't get enough of me, that's the place to go. Or Instagram and TikTok at Hannah.Bales. Okay, bye.